Hello there. Thank you for joining me. My name is Sebastian Straub. I'm a solutions architect here at N2W. And today we'll be talking about the capability of capturing and cloning your infrastructure setting. First off, let's make sure that we have that option turned on. So choose your accounts, select the account name, and capture VPCs needs to be turned on. That's the default setting. If you've upgraded from a previous version, there is a possibility that this will be disabled. So always make sure that Capture VPC is enabled. Once you've done this, now we also need to turn it on. And you'll do that under General Settings. Select that. Now Capture VPC. And we need to turn it on. Enable. All right, so now we will monitor changes to any VPCs that you're using every six hours. And if there is a change, then we will capture these changes. That means we're not actually going to create a backup every six hours. We're only going to capture these settings if there is a change. Now, if I select capture now, I can trigger this right now just to show you how it works. It doesn't take a long time at all. Something else you should keep in mind is that it will not capture all VPC settings that you have in your environment, it will capture what is being made use of in the policies that you're using. So now, how do you make use of this feature? I'm gonna select accounts and there's another option right here, clone VPCs. If I select that, that's the setting that we just captured. And I can also choose the different VPCs and I can choose the capture date. Remember I mentioned that we're not going to create backups of your configuration every six hours, really only when there is a change. This also means if uh, somebody would say, well, I need to recover a production environment or workload from let's say October 29th. Well, I obviously can do this. Now with this feature, I can do you one better. I can also set the entire infrastructure that goes along with it. VPC, subnet settings, routing tables, security groups to the same time and date. In order to clone this configuration into another region, all I have to do is choose the name of the region, click clone VPC, and that is all there is to it. Very simple, very easy to do. If you do feel so inclined that you can also take this entire configuration and export it into a CloudFormation template. So really in essence, this gives you the ability to perform an offsite backup of your configuration. 